The very latest with Hurricane Dorian, and we'll get to that in just a minute. First, let's start with some good news, and that is our three degree guarantee. Our forecast high temperature for today was 89, and we got exactly to 89. So that's another $50 for Alpha Team K9 Search and Rescue. The grand total so far for the month of August, $750. So now we go to Hurricane Dorian. It is a Category 1 hurricane now well north of Puerto Rico, and it is moving to the northwest at 13 miles an hour, expected to intensify very quickly as it heads towards the Florida coast. And almost all the models taking it straight to Florida, but there's a lot of change and variables within these models that take this storm in that general direction. I want to start with the European model because this one has really slowed the storm down and has taken it further and further south. In fact, the European model doesn't have the storm approaching South Florida near Miami until 9 p.m. Tuesday, then riding up the spine of the Florida Peninsula. You're looking at Thursday 6 p.m. and this storm is still over North Florida, South Georgia then curving back out over to the Carolinas with that heaviest rain remaining in Florida and South Georgia. This is another model, the American model or the GFS model. This one has the storm making landfall Monday morning, a little closer to the National Hurricane Center forecast, doing so right in the middle of the state near Port Canaveral and then taking that turn to the north towards South Georgia. Again, notice the heaviest downpours, the strongest winds over Florida, but even South Georgia getting some of that heavy rainfall as that storm moves in two very different models. Both of them have this system reaching category four status before making landfall next week. We do know this storm will slow down and turn to the north once it does make landfall with the biggest impacts in Florida, and that's where the highest rainfall totals will be as well. And for more on those rainfall totals, we're going to head over to Ella Dorsey. Let's talk about that, Jen, because it's one of the uh, worst things that a hurricane can bring is torrential downpours. We've seen it with many in the past couple years. Florence, Harvey, take a look at what's going to happen here. This storm will move faster than those two storms I just mentioned, but still could drop up to two feet of rain along the east coast of Florida in the Melbourne area from south of Orlando down to Fort Pierce. That's where the majority of the heaviest rain is likely. You can see that areas along the Georgia coast from Savannah down to Jacksonville, even up through Charleston, could get at least five inches, five to ten inches of rain. Again, this is through next Wednesday, so this is over the next six days, but you can see here locally, most of North Georgia remains completely out of the span of the tropical rainfall. So here in Atlanta, we're going to see very little impact from this storm, at least through the middle part of next week. Again, still lots of inconsistencies. We'll have to watch for middle to late next week for some rain here in Atlanta. Jennifer. Yeah, and that's what we do know. Florida, South Georgia, that's where the biggest effects will be. And here in North Georgia, we're looking pretty good, especially for the rest of tonight and for the next several days and for the weekend. For tonight, crystal clear skies. It's even going to get a little bit cool as we head into the overnight hours. 76 at 11, dropping down to the 60s as you wake up tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon, sunny and beautiful. That low humidity still over the area as we get up to 90 degrees. We are going to start to see higher humidity humidity, higher moisture and slightly higher rain chances starting Sunday into Monday, but even then only a 20% chance of rain not associated with Dorian Dorian just seeing a little more moisture in the air when we will see some effects from Dorian is the middle to end of next week. So Wednesday, Thursday, that's when we could see some higher rain chances associated with some of those outer rain bands. But again, the exact path and when it makes landfall will greatly affect our weather. So more on that as that storm gets closer and closer.